Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Graciela, Blanca, hello. Nelson. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How is good evening. everything good evening. there? Good evening, Nelson, Imelda, uh, Floricia, Graciela, evening, Maria Wendy, hello. Uh, hello Anderson, hello. Elsa. How oh, is everything there? Hope you are having a great time. <laughs> Hope you have prepared your cup of coffee. And I hope that, well, there is something that's the most important part of, of all here, right? And that is to learn. Uh, Maria Wendy. Let me see, I will read. Okay, I got it, Maria Wendy. And also, I got your message, uh, Anderson Jeremy. Okay, we're gonna start in a in a minute. Hello, Jaime. Hello, Jaime. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you can listen to me. I have ten people connected and still waiting for the rest. It's Eight o'clock exactly, so that means that people are just going to get into the class in a couple of minutes. Mm, I have something for you tonight. <clears throat> well, I will check the list attendance. That is the first thing I do at the beginning, right? Hello, uh, people, hope everybody's all right. Good evening, teacher. Uh, hello, Diana, good evening. Hello, I have Marisol de Los Angeles also there. Ana Graciela is there also. Well, I will check list attendance, people. And then we're gonna work uh, a lot. Today is September the 22nd. I have Ana Graciela. Yes, I'm teacher. Okay. Anderson, Jeremy. Armando Antonio. Blanca Stephanie. Yes, I'm teacher. Carlos Aníbal, thank you. Yes, I'm teacher. Okay, Carlos Aníbal. Oops. Let me see. 
Cecia Gemina. Cecia. Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Elmer Alexander. Elsa Noelia. Here I am. Floricia, thank you. Floricia is there. Ingrid. Jaime Ivan. Karina Jamilet. Okay. Uh, Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Good. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Maria Imelda. Present. Present. Okay. Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol. Present. Uh, Nelson. Present, teacher. Rommel. Ronald. Present teacher. And Wilfredo Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. So. Teacher, wait. sorry. I am here. Uh, who's, who's talking now? Who's talking now? Elmer. Elmer, okay. Give me a second. Elmer and also Anderson Jeremy. Elmer. Okay, I got it, Elmer. Well, uh, yesterday was quite interesting. We started to talk about the verb to be in the past tense. I told you that's uh, something very simple, but at the same time, it's quite important to put it into practice, okay? Now, uh, I have some information over here. I have a game here that's about the, the word sun. Um, okay, a, okay, Jamilet, I will take it into consideration, okay? And, uh, well, I told you right about this game. That's a game that is related to the topic that we have been studying lately. So we're gonna play it once, okay? And you see, there is a dice. There is a dice, and this game is going to be uh, about the topic was in where? About the verb to be in the past form. Okay, that's uh, why I decided to to try it, right? To try it and to see what's coming now. Let's see, I will roll the dice. <laughs> look, look at the little... Okay, so she very sad. She very sad yesterday, but she seems happier today. Where was or is? Was. Was. All right. Let's roll the dice once again. We are where? the movie theory every evening. <laughs> where? 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 Whatever. Well, very good. Let us roll the die once again. We need to we need to get to this part of the city. Oops. So uh aha, uh -huh. I remember them now. They such a badly behaved kids. Where? Was was or, oh, okay. Where? Because they are talking about where? kids. Yeah, oh, kids. Where? Where, where? Let's continue and remember that we need to get into the at the end, right? Why he's a rude? Why are was why, why, was 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 he? Okay. Why was he so rude to put at the party? Let's go over this part. The students weren't, wasn't, aren't ready for a lesson when the teacher came in. Weren't. 
Where am I? Where am I? Very good. We're almost done. We are over here. Wow, we're, we almost get to the end. In China, during 2008, Olympic Games. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. Uh, let's roll the dice once again. <laughs> hey, why are you not in class yesterday morning? Where? 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 Why were you not in a class yesterday night? Six. I think we did it, right? Hey, I at home when Pat came to visit. I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't at home when she <laughs> came to visit. <laughs> Four. I think we did it. Excellent. Very good. So we did it. So very simple, right? It's very simple. So yesterday, as I told you, right, we were talking about birth to be, the path of the birth to be. Okay, you know, we were talking about biography, autobiography, once where, etc. And well, now we are going to be like in church of continue talking about it. But over here, as you can see, we're going to focus a little bit in the pronunciation of negative contractions. Simple, yes. Important, also, it's very important. Let us take a look at it. Listen, teacher. You you don't listen? No, no, no teacher. No. Oh, sorry. I don't know why. I, I I tend to forget this part. Okay, I think uh, we're more than ready now. Pay attention. Okay, this guy is going to introduce the topic. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't. Different tenses, right? Can't. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Two syllables. Isn't. Isn't. Wasn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner didn't. because they weren't hungry. Take a look. Take a look at the pronunciation. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Oops, sorry, it's not that one. Teacher. Hello, hello. I have a question. Uh, Tell me. Uh, I use a uh, was in singular and mm. where for plural? Mm, not exactly about singular and plural, right? Because if you say, uh, remember I, I told you about the way we we conjugate the verb. Which, uh, which, pronoun, which, which pronoun uh, uh, yeah. I use? I was, and I is singular, you were, and that is singular also, right? Oh. He, singular, but third person singular. He, she, it, we, uh, you, <laughs> you. Hola, mamá. And they. Just 
teacher just just was uh for i uh -huh. the pronoun yeah give me a second was oh he was he was was, was. were 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 again and we're again. So what do I mean with this? If you notice, um, oops, hey, what happens? If you notice, so here uh, I have was with I, and then we have was with the third person singular. Okay, was. The rest where, 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 and where, okay? okay. So that is the way we, 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 we use it. We use the verb, to, the verb to be in the past form. Okay, but I really like that you ask uh, any question if, in case you need to clarify some doubts. That is um, very significant for me to help you. Uh, it says that this, these expressions are only one syllable uh, expressions. Uh, they are in the contractive form, but they, uh, they, they uh, well, actually you pronounce them as one syllable. You say aren't, don't, weren't, can't. But uh, you pronounce these ones as two syllable. Is sent. The sent was sent the dent. Okay, so we have like two syllable, a uh, two syllable uh, expression over here. So you need to keep it in mind. So, so if you if you read the first, how do you read this one? How do you read the first sentence? They didn't. They didn't. They didn't, they didn't eat pues, dinner si because les, they. Ahí esperen entonces a leer que le va a llegar por ahí. Where? I don't oh, like coffee. Sí. Vaya, pues no like chido. Like this aren't there. This aren't swim. They can't swim. They can't swim. They can't swim. They can't isn't he today now as you can see didn't didn't belongs to this part right so that's why yeah. i say didn't didn't the same as a uh, uh, weren't now we hear one syllable right weren't didn't wouldn't, didn't. So that is the difference. So you have here, don't, don't, don't. And you also have doesn't over here, doesn't, doesn't. And you have uh, one syllable over here, can't, can't. You also have isn't over here. So. The, the thing is that's very important to pronounce them. Uh, every single word in English is important, right? So if you pronounce it quiet well, that is good for you. Okay, and that is good for your improvement of the second language. So uh, negative contractions, that, that was pure uh, pronunciation. Let us see what's coming soon. Well, we're gonna try to go over the double H questions with didn't was, and also we're gonna talk about the verb to be um, um, also. Additionally, you will practice conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used in real settings. Okay, and let's start. We will see this part. Double H questions with did, was, and were. I have. Uh, I, I don't know if you identify clearly the double H question words that we have in English. When we listen to this expression, what comes to your mind? 
¿Qué se viene a su mente cuando ven Double Edge Questions? Question answer, uh, pregunta. Question where, when, how, when, who's. Ok, exactly. So, a double H question refers to these questions, the, the question words that um, are used to create uh, interactive statements. Uh, question words such as where, when, and why. Okay, and you know, if I ask, hey, where did you grow up? And you may say, hey, teacher, I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Santa Ana, I grew up in La Union, etc. right? So let's see what's coming on here. Double H word plus D plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. So this is like one of the patterns that we need to learn. But let's see about the the rest of the information that's being presented in this video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, Let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding 
an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. A hairstylist. All right, so we got significant information on how to create um, questions with, with the simple path form of the verb to be. Actually, I have one question, one conversation on here, and um, it's between Melissa and Chuck. Melissa starts by saying, so Chuck, where did you grow up? And Chuck answers, I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to LA or to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become an, a hair, hair stylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, okay. So and as you can see, this is a, a conversation in which Melissa talks about, about her past. I mean, Chuck is the one who, who speaks about, about his past. And he provided information about the place he grew up. He grew up in Texas. He was born there. And he was an actor for five years after college. Uh, well, you have info that's significant at the moment of talking. So what are we going to do now? We still have like uh, 30 minutes. We're going to create a conversation similar to this one. Okay. And you're going to see it in the group. I will create the groups. We are going to spend like uh, 15 minutes practicing and then we're going to try to um, finish. Conversation people. Now, how many people do I have? 18. So we're going to have nine couples. All right. Antes de entrar... Crear una conversación. ¿Pueden? Similar a eso. Sí. Pueden utilizar okay. esa, esa nada más colocarles la, la información que ustedes consideren pertinente, cambiar y decirnosla. Ok. Ok. Antes de entrar a la, a la actividad, quiero lanzar el reto de que se la aprendan. Ok. Que no la vayan a estar leyendo porque es importante que ustedes practiquen sin la necesidad de, de leer la información. Ok, por eso les voy a dar 15 minutos, la conversación no es tan larga y creo que lo podemos lograr, ok. Are you ready? Repetiríamos esa misma conversación, Chichi. Sí. Sí, sí. Bueno, gracias. Ok, pueden repetir esa o le pueden hacer cambios si así lo desean. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Here we go, here we go. Be ready. Fifteen minutes, people. Then you're gonna present.
Okay, I hope that you are practicing the conversation, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, people, time to practice. Eh, lo que mandó tenemos que practicar, pero yeah, you have to practice it, Anderson.
terminó. No, sacaron. el teacher. No, Sí, el lo teacher. sacaron. Ah. El teacher está ahí. <ríe> Digamos. Dice que no iba a ir, ya no había sacado. No. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So we did. Why? 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 So ah. why did Joe become a Christian? Christian. Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, ah. Ma. okay, so chalk, so so so. so. Ya no sacó el profe. No, sigue. No. Mm -mm. Ah, I got in San Salvador. No, no. I got in Morazán. I, I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Por ejemplo... Si gusta lo practicamos y, y lo, eh, los nombres. Pues lo, lo, lo vemos con ella, la incluimos. Para ajá, que... ajá, cabal. Ajá. O nos cambiamos Vaya. ahí turno. Ajá, cabal, podemos cambiarlo. Vaya, sí. comience en eso. Por ejemplo, empezamos. So, Wilfredo, where did you grow up? I grew up en Sonsonate. I was born there too. And when did you come to... Lo... Come to San Vicente? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Uh, computer system engineering. I was, I was, I, it's not a computer. I was a computer support technician. For That's, five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a computer system? Because I needed the money and I love it. What do you think? That seemed very good to me. Y ahí terminamos. Lo que hicimos fue intercambiar. <laughs> <laughs> este, Ay, actualizarlo. La gran mayoría, un 80% se mantiene, solo hacemos los cambios de nuestro origen. Lo practicamos una vez. Lo no logro aprender en un ratito. ¿Cómo? No se logra aprender, le digo. No, eh, lo practicamos una vez ahorita, si quieren, antes de, de llegar a la reunión. ¿Sí? Bueno, empiece. Yo comienzo, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Qué? Where did you grow? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And where did you come to Los Angeles? In Wow to San Nai under 90. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Grandma. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you be active? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, 
What do you think? Well, ah. Uh, I mean, solamente el. Is. Pero no, no se logra aprender. No. Se le olvida las palabras a uno. Sí, se olvida. Es de tener más tiempo para sí. memorizarlo. Yo creo que quizás ya no llamó. ¿va? Ajá, no está pidiendo abandonar. Sí, ahorita. Ya abandonó. Oh, okay, I saw some of you practicing the conversation. That was really nice. Okay, like trying to to get the the best pronunciation um for the the exercise, and we're gonna listen to some couples. Okay, uh, let's listen to Graciela, Ana Graciela, and company. Yo voy con Ana Graciana. Sí, Tona. Comienzo. Bueno, empecemos. Sochu, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In what 2009, under 90, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a high stylist? Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, finish, teacher. Thank you very much. Excellent. Teacher, solo una consulta, teacher. Hello, Ronald. Eh, drama se pronuncia igual. Drama, drama, the sí, drama. Sí, yo, yo busqué la pronunciación y igual drama, drama me salió. Yeah, it is the same. Bueno. Uh, that was really good. Uh, let us listen to Jaime and Blanca, I think, right? So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born here too. And when did and when did you come to Los Angeles? In nineteen ninety, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, wait, did you become a his tiny? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Okay, I think that was it. That, that's all, right? Teacher. Hello. Yes, Blanca, we heard you. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, yes, you did, Blanca. 
Don't worry, because we heard everything. You, you thought Jaime was talking by his own, right? <laughs> okay. Let's listen to Wilfredo's participation. Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay, I'm ready. So, Wilfredo, where did you grow up? I grew up in Sonsonate. I was born there too. And when did you come to San Vicente? In 1995, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Uh, computer system engineering. I was a computer support technician for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become computer system? Because I needed the money and I love it. What do it, you think? That seemed very good to me. Finish teacher. It seems very good to me. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. I think we still have some uh, some time to listen to some other people. Nelson, and after Nelson, Marisol. So, Marisol, where did you grow up? I, I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to San Vicente? And... And when did... Uh, in... No, no. Oh. What was your major? A drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become uh, a drama? Yeah. And because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Uh, that seems very good to me. And well, ah. Uh, Uh, that's it. Uh, activate your microphone, Marisol, please. Come on, teacher. Now, did you finish? You finished. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, but that, that was really good. Now, let's see, a anybody else who wants to participate because we only have five minutes and I need to have uh, to tell you some or to give you some uh, feedback. Anybody else in the group? Okay, let, let's stop there then. Well, some pieces of advice, people, when when talking or when having uh, conversations. Cuando hagamos este tipo de ejercicios de conversación, de pronunciación, eh, asegurémonos primero que estamos pronunciando bien. Segundo, que estamos tratando de hacer una conversación de manera natural y amena, ¿ok? Para que, pues... Eh, la pronunciación uh, y la actividad en sí 
tome mucha más relevancia. ¿Ok? Um, besides that, um, I, I think it was really good to see you in, in working in Perth. Cuando esté en pareja o en grupo, pues tomen ventaja del tiempo, ¿verdad? Si hay alguien que tiene problemas técnicos por X o Y motivo, usted no se detenga ahí. Si imagínense, eran 15 minutotes. que se les asignaron y si, y si alguien, digamos, en, en la actividad perdió la señal o salió del grupo, entonces este, hay que tomar siempre ventaja del tiempo y practicar por nosotros mismos. Eh, me comentan que para... Eh, tenemos una hora pendiente, ¿verdad? Entonces, para recobrar esa hora... Eh, En el grupo les van a avisar, ¿ok? En el grupo les van a avisar si va a ser lunes o martes y les van a avisar la hora porque entiendo que algunos ya fueron notificados de que van a aperturar grupo de inglés, ¿verdad? No sé si a alguno de ustedes ya les notificaron. No yet. Not yet. Ok, si, to si todavía no les han notificado, este... Entonces, pues, quiere decir que seguiríamos siempre el lunes, a menos de que alguien de los compañeros de Insafor coloque otra información. Hay que estar pendiente porque es, es importante que logremos culminar con las horas establecidas. ¿Ok? So, nos vamos a quedar acá. Eh, tienen, tienen de tarea, tienen siempre el examen final. No sé si ya todos lo terminaron o si alguien está Bien. pendiente, pero hay que trabajar en ese examen final. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. So, we're gonna, uh, nos vamos a quedar acá y continuamos próximamente. ¿Les parece? Yes. Ok. okay. okay. Sí. Sí. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Aníbal, hola. En el grupo podemos hacer la conversación. Mi internet me estaba fallando. Ah, bye, no bye, entiendo bye. por qué. Y así okay. la presentamos el lunes. Me parece. Sí, yo me okay. le cambié unas cosas ahí. Ah. Ok, entonces me lo okay. me envías lo que has hecho para de ahí le completamos. Ok, excelente. Excelente, compañero. Thank you. Pero a ninguno le han informado que van a iniciar curso nuevo. A mí no. ¿Cuándo empezamos? Es que el internet bueno. me falló, no he podido estar en clase. Pero generalmente okay. dan no, por el una momento semana. No me he avisado, bueno, a mí no me he avisado. Una semana, una semana, cabal, una semana, dan de intermedio. Sí, así 